My favorite part of the service repair is I really like getting my hands dirty. It's nice that we have lecture, but yet we can get out on the service floor and tinker around on stuff. It's not all classroom stuff. The facility is amazing. Um, it's actually a lot larger than some of the schools I've been to. My favorite part about the program is being able to actually get out on the service floor and actually do the stuff that you know they're teaching us. It's not just talking about it and you know just saying this is what you do. We actually go out and do it. What brought me to Fair State was um, I guess my passion for um, trucks and tractors and agriculture and the equipment that goes with them. Uh, there's no program like this in the United States. This is one of the only four-year programs that I know of and uh, it, it has a great reputation. And I wanted to go to the best program no matter where that was in the country and through my research, months of research, probably a year research, I found that Ferris, State, Ferris offered the best all-around um, program and it equipped you to really succeed in the industry and it, it offered the four years, which is what, is what I was really looking for. I fell in love with the campus. I uh, came and visited the heavy equipment uh, facility and talked to a couple of instructors. I really liked some of the stuff they did and how it was set up, so I decided to come here. I chose Ferris because it has a four-year degree. That was a big part of it, but also um, after touring some colleges, this place was the most organized. You know, the teachers were the, I guess, best prepared to, to, to teach and seemed like the most knowledgeable and uh, just the equipment here is far superior to everywhere else. Ferris's heavy equipment program and heavy equipment engineering service technology programs are one of a kind programs in the country. The four year bachelor's degree in heavy equipment service engineering is the only bachelor's degree of its type in the country. With the four year degree, um, the service engineering program, uh, there's a lot you can do with it. You're not limited to just being a technician for the rest of your life if you wanted you know, not be a wrench until you're 40 years old. Well, you can go and you can uh, do more of like a management role or a leadership role, or you can even go and do um, research and development stuff if you want to do um, a career path like that. Students that enter into the heavy equipment engineering service technology degree are getting a real hands-on education, working with advanced controls, advanced hydraulics, advanced electronics, along with a lot of the safety and some of the business side of the, of the industry also. The big thing with the bachelors is uh, a lot of it is for those students that one, yes, want to possibly run their own business, but two, uh, manage and, uh, you know, maybe wrench for five years and, and move on up um, a lot quicker. The experience I've had at Ferris, as far as the heavy equipment program goes, you you learn how to operate equipment in addition to repairing it. You know, they'll teach you, um, you know, how to drive. You can uh, learn how to operate the forklift, uh, you know, the skid steers. The teachers here, I like it. They have real world uh, industry experience. They're not career teachers. They went out there, they've been in the industry. They know what industry wants and needs and that like the advisory board comes in here and asks the students what's going on, what can make this program better, and they actually give feedback from industry, what's going new trends now to update stuff. So the student to teacher ratio has been very beneficial because the, only the lectures are pretty large but the labs are uh, very small and uh, they give you one-on-one -on -one attention if you need it. We're very fortunate in the College of Engineering and Technology as a whole to have a very small ratio of student to teacher, student to faculty ratios. And the reason why is we're very lab intense. So we need to have that one-on-one -on -one experience with our students. And if you have large class sizes, that's hard to do. Right now I really enjoy wrenching and fixing stuff, but I know down the road someday when I get older I'm not going to want to be crawling under the ground and getting wet and dripped on and do all that stuff. So I want to go maybe more into the management side of things. So that's kind of figured, I just wanted to, I'm in school now, I figured I'd get it all done and then that way I'm set up for later in life. My career path after school is to get some experience in the field and uh, I, I'd like to start my own small business and do a lot of uh, repair and specialty work. Well, I would like to eventually end up in management and also be exposed to more of the engineering side 
of heavy equipment and the bachelor here offers that and in the management and also into the failure analysis and uh, materials and those sort of things. The graduates have 100% employment. They've got great opportunities, not only in the Michigan and the Midwest, but nationwide. So a student that's interested in going and expanding their horizons can get in a lot of different fields, uh, in a lot of different areas in the country, and even internationally if they so desire. They want you. They want you to work for them, and it's, it's that name. Guys know what the quality of kids that are coming out of this program are and what their skill sets are. It's, it's a good education. I, I have learned a lot. 